Protests around the globe were sparked by the death of an unarmed black man while in police custody. George Floyd died in Minneapolis when a white police officer knelt on his neck for more than eight minutes. This weekend, almost two weeks on, a message of support for the black community here was heard loud and clear. On Saturday, hundreds gathered outside the Old Town Hall in Carlisle. Protesters took the knee for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the same amount of time George Floyd was held face down. We live in a world that is just grounded in racism and it needs to end. It's as simple as that, really. I thought it was especially fun in Carlisle because there's quite a low diversity here. We are not innocent in the UK. We've got several signs, I don't know if you've seen them yet. There was long lists of names, Mark Duggan, maybe the most familiar one to most people. Victims of police brutality are worldwide, it's not just the United States issue. In Dumfries on Sunday, a similar scene. Victims of racial abuse shared stories about what they've been subjected to. Uh, me and my sister, we would be so bullied that we would actually have to eat lunch um, in the toilets because we were too scared to eat and sit next to white people. Just going in the freeze, it was really hard being called ugly, being made of my skin colour, my lips, my hair, the way I walk, just myself, who I am, my genetics, was in, like that was abuse. I think it's important to be here uh, for the co for the obviously the cause of George Floyd, for equality, for human equality, um, for people who think that there's not a problem, that you know that that is a problem. Like other parts of the UK, these protests are loud. Unlike in other parts of the UK, these protests are peaceful. Organisers say the injustices faced by black people around the globe are why they're protesting, even during a global pandemic. Large gatherings technically break lockdown rules. The police, both UK and Scottish governments, urge people to make their voices heard in other ways. But organisers at both events were at pains to ensure people were safe. Two metre markings were placed on the floor and face masks were handed out to those who didn't have their own. I absolutely understand the concerns around coronavirus. As you can see, we've encouraged everyone to wear masks. There is no reason not to protest. None of what we are doing here today is breaking social distancing or the guidelines the government announced. The police officers involved in the death that sparked this outrage have now been charged. But as this global movement continues to grow, it's also encompassing the lives of those closer to home. Lewis Warner, ITV News.